Hi guys, welcome to Different Web Core YouTube channel where we create helpful videos regarding website design, WordPress, and online technicalities. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, and in this video, we will actually be looking at ads. We'll be working on getting a free hosting for WordPress, the free WordPress hosting. And so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to your browser now and type in profreehost, rather profreehost.com. Yeah, and I will also leave the link below in the description. And so right here we are at profreehost. So profreehost is uh, a professional free hosting company. So uh, we have a whole lot of hosting, free hosting company, but I usually recommend profreehost. Though every of the free hosting companies usually have their pros and cons, but you can actually get started with Pro Free Host very easily. So right now, what we need to do is go to this place where it says register now and click on it. So now we are going to register. So what you need to do is you need an email and you need to create a password. So very quickly, I'm going to paste my email here. So yeah, and then I'm gonna create a password. Yeah, so I, create, I created my password, then you click on the button. So it can create your account. And as you can see, it has successfully created the account. So what we need to do now, it says, Activate account, please activate your account first. So what we need to do is we need to go to our mail and check for the activation link. So I'll go to my mail right now. As you can see, I've been sent an activation link. So I'll just click on it. So then I'll click on activate account. And you see it says your account has been activated successfully so um very quickly i need to explain to you so you will not get confused because in profile host there are actually two categories of accounts you're actually going to create so the first one we just created is the general account for everyone so the first one is just for you to actually get your your email username and password so we have another account that you're going to create that is the second account so the second account is for your hosting account do you understand so the first account will just to actually be a member of the website which we just created and this second account is for you to be able to get the hosting on the website so that's just it so we'll just follow along and you actually get it so i'll click on create new account yeah and right now the account uh the second account has been created so as you can see this is um our let me just call it our hosting account right now so as you can see we have client area so this is where we will actually be able to create a domain and then and link it to the free hosting and so the next step right now is to actually create our domain name so as you already know we are actually creating a free hosting in this video so we'll actually be using a free domain name as well that will be given to us by this free host account so it says create a new website so what you need to do is to type a name that you want to use for your domain but however you are going to be having an extension behind it so you can choose between these two available extension so but i'll just go with the first one so um you can just type in a name so and you have to be sure that the name has not been used before so if i should type chicken here so yeah, so it says gcoin.ulinux.com is available. So just try your 
on your own case in case it says it's not available so you just keep on trying a name that is going to be available so then after that you just leave it at free domain so then click on this button so we are almost done as you can see it says gcoin dot so this is it it's this um symbol that's holding here signifies that the stuff is actually being currently created so um if you wait for around um let's just say let's wait for a couple of a minute and if this thing keeps on running so what we need to do is just click on manage so you click on manage and as you can see we have the create new accounts here so meaning you can actually create another account inside of this profile account to use for another free website to host another of your free wordpress website so now what you need to do is since it stops still rolling so i'll just click on manage so it says create a refresh page after some minutes so um it's actually still creating so we will actually i will have to wait for around maybe like five minutes so then if it's still rolling then i'm actually going to reload the page and so guys i've waited for a couple of minutes and stuff still seems to be rolling so what i will do now is i will reload this page so yeah So now I reload it says manage your website with feature rich control panel. So uh, as you can see, it has actually created it for us. It says main domain gcoin.unox.com. So now we already have our domain and now we have been given access to C panel. So in case you don't actually know what C panel is, C panel is the control panel of a hosting um, web of a hosting account that's where you get to install wordpress and as you already know we actually want to install wordpress so that's why we need this C panel so right now what, the next step is to go to our C panel so i'll just click on it so we can be so we can actually go on ahead to install our wordpress so uh we actually got an error here so i'm going to click on send anyway so just come down here and click on i approve yeah and as you can see our our c panel has actually been loaded I'll just click on continue here so this is our c panel on our free hosting so what we want to do now is we want to install wordpress on our domain so we can start creating our website for free so what i will do is i'm going to look for Softstack plus apps installer and this is it here you can see it's under software so i'm going to open it in a new tab so right now we are being presented with a bunch of cms content management system but the one we're actually going for is wordpress so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on install so right here is our wordpress installation environment so i'm going to click on this um arrow small arrow here so then you're going to choose quick install so after that just come down and make sure you are selecting the domain you've created for so we created gcoin the other time so i'm going to create a username so i'm going to be using admin as my username and then the password so i'm just going to hide it and use a password and make sure your password is strong enough and memorable for you so you can leave this email here so uh this is the email I actually open used to uh, to create a profile host account so this email will actually be sent a message and in case you want to actually recover or reset your password this is the email you're actually going to be using for that so i'm going to click on install 
So right now, the WordPress is being installed on my website. So I'm just going to wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, it has successfully installed. So now, this is my website. And this is my WordPress, uh, this is my website admin link. So if I, right now, if I click on this, it should take us directly to our website now. As you can see, our website has been created. So what we want to do now is want to log in. So I'll just click on this so it can take me to my dashboard. Yeah, as you can see, we have been able to successfully log in. So uh, if you are familiar with WordPress, maybe you actually want to access your website later. So you already know that I need this link yeah so let me go to a new browser so let me just paste it here so as you can see so what i did is the name of your website stroke wp admin will take you to your dashboard so you can to, to your login area so you can be able to log in so that's just what i'm showing you so i need i should actually put my admin the one i used the other time and then my pa my password i'll be able to log in again so as you can see i've been able to log in successfully so that is all for now guys if you have actually gained value or a new idea from this video guys please don't hesitate to like this video subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell button so you can always be notified each time i create videos regarding wordpress web design and online technicalities so thank you for your time guys bye for now crane tech world